Hello Little Theatrix, this challenge came to me from a very good friend of mine. Many people who are uh, subscribed to me will know that I um, cosplayed as Batman at uh, Supernova Sydney um, 2010 in the past month. Now, people generally think, you know, with costumes they're fairly easy and, you know, put on a costume, you walk around and it's generally a barrel of laughs. You have no idea how wrong you are. Wrong. To demonstrate this, I thought I would show you how difficult it is to put on Batman's cow. I should mention this cow was created um, by someone who I will link down there um, when I get the proper links because I can't remember his name. This was uh, this whole costume was donated to me by um, the amazing Batty99, who also can be found down there. As you can see from here, it looks fairly simple to put on and off. Now, do you notice that the neck and the head are connected? You put your head through the neck piece. It's a very long and arduous process, but not to worry, all the sweat that you will uh, eventually get from inside the cow will make it easier to remove. Here we go. <sighs> Already having some trouble. Jesus. Well, that wasn't a good first attempt. Okay, one part done. The trick is to get it past the ears. And apologies for a little bit, I won't be able to talk because the cow will soon have covered my mouth. I'm sure I look ridiculous now and I don't even know where to look at the camera anymore, so laugh it up, go on. Hello ladies, how are you? The problem with this, I got hair on my mouth. <laughs> Uh, this cow has no nose piece. Sydney has this marvellous thing for most costumes called cold weather. It made it very wonderful for the costume in general, but for this part, there was nowhere for the nose to breathe. All cows are shaped differently for one reason or another. This it was suited in the Batman Begins type s style, which you can see on my face. Literally the eyebrows and the shape of the cowl makes me seem like I'm glaring at you, even though it's my neutral face. People think you might be glaring at them when you're just looking at them. Smiling is even worse. Look, this is a normal smile, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is a Batman smile. It just looks like I'm about to murder you. Do you really want to see that on my face all the time? I don't think so. Also, I can barely hear a thing. People literally have to speak up to talk to me. So, people generally ask if, I, if I'm complaining so much about it. Why did I choose to do it? Why did I love doing it? I don't ever plan to become a uh, bat-shaped vigilante uh, pursuing the streets of Brisbane, but I can, in some way, shape, or form, hold up the ideals that Batman stands for, and I like to think that I'm paying tribute to the way that the character has changed me in some ways. It's something that you really need to relate to firsthand because it can't really be explained. So, apologies for that. I hope you enjoyed watching me in arduous pain. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Batman loves you. Bye! Where are the drugs going? Rachel! Gotham needs the hero it deserves. <laughs>